Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this nail art for Valentine's. I'm gonna be showing you one like design but in three different styles. So for the three of them, I'm going to be using the same base nail polish and it's called Blackout by Sally Hansen. If you want to use a base coat to protect your nails, go ahead and use it. So as you can see, my nails at the moment are pretty short, but that doesn't mean you can't rock a nail art. But I think this design in particular because of the pattern, it looks much better in long nails, but I'm gonna show you the design in short nails and in long nails. Then I'm going to go in with my Essie, and it, this one is called Santropes, and it's perfect because it's pigmented enough for this project. Then I'm going to be using this DIY that I made a while ago, and it's just like a dotting tool. So the first thing that I'm gonna be doing after my nails are dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and paint small hearts. I'm just gonna take the color, just apply a kind of like a dot, wherever you want to start, and then drag it towards where you want your, the middle of your heart to be and then go ahead and go to the other side and just, you know, make those lines meet in the middle, if that makes any sense. And that's pretty much it as far as for the technique goes, but I wanted to show you a few like combinations and other things that you can do. Now as far as for protection, you can use either a shiny top coat or a matte top coat. Um, I decided to go matte for this one because I think it looks more classic, but you can go ahead and use the shiny one. Pretty much up to you. This is what it looked like with my short nails. As you can see, not impossible to make the design, but, well, the space is somewhat limited. But if you're super lucky and you have longer nails or more space on your nails to work on, this is what you can do. As you can see, it's pretty much the same technique, but we just have more space to work on. Therefore, more space for more hearts. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and protect this nail. And I'm using my shiny top coat, which is Sal Hansen Hardest Nails. And I went for both top coats, just so you can see and just so you can decide which one you like the most. This is what it looks like with the shiny one, and this is what it looks like with the matte one. Personally, I love the matte one the most for this design. I think it looks classy and elegant and still romantic. For the second design, we're going to be using different colors. We're going to be using my Pure Eyes Silver Star. And I didn't find any gold or cooper uh, nail polish in my collection, but I did have this acrylic paint. And this is by Liquid Leaf and it's called Florentine Gold. And for this one, the technique is pretty much the same, like putting the dot and then dragging it towards the middle part. But first I'm going to paint my cooper heart. And then I'm just going in in between, like in between my hearts, and I'm going in with my silver one. And then seal the whole thing with your favorite top coat. Here's uh, what it looks like with the shiny top coat. Again, I like it more with the matte top coat, but let me know which one is your fave out of this two. The third one is the colorful and just kind of like the rainbowy design out of the tree. Again, you can customize the colors as you like them to be. If you want to go for like more romantic, just choose pinks, purples, and reds, but I chose to be all over the place. This is the colors that I'm using. I'm loving this brand at the moment. I chose to use acrylic paints because some people don't have all the colors of the rainbow in like nail polish. And so because I wanted to to give this a try and show you how it looks like using acrylic paint but I'm going to pick my paint with my dotting tool and going to add my dot and then drag it towards the the center so it's the same as far as the technique for some reason when you're working with acrylic paint your hearts are gonna be a lot smaller so you're going to be able to kind of like paint a lot more little hearts which I thought it was cute because of this one especially this design that requires a lot of space because you're using six different colors I think the best option is to work with acrylic paint and if you're done with the colors and left with a lot of space you can go ahead and repeat the same process just to complete that space and in this case I decided to go for the shiny one and I think it looks better with a shiny top coat for this particular case because you can see the colors popping up a lot more but it's up to you pretty much if you want to go for the matte or the glossy one so let me know which one of the five designs you like the most matte or finished or glossy ones in what combination of colors also don't forget you can rock uh, this design on short and long nails doesn't really matter if you like any of these designs don't forget to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up it helps a lot don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share this one. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye guys!